Happy Monday traders. Welcome back to the channel. It's great to be back in the charts. And first off, I want to thank you all because now we are at 100 subscribers. So thank you to all of you who do stop in and watch this journey. And also to those of you who like videos and subscribe to videos. I do hope they are helpful to people who are like me trying their best to become a great futures day trader. I know my number one issue is trying to focus on the process of technical analysis, entries and exits, as well as the mental aspect of trading. So if you struggle in those areas also and if you are trying to excel in those areas and really just trying to push yourself forward i hope that this channel helps you to do that so getting back into what we're here for i'll start off with the with the challenge account I do believe the challenge account today, I believe, is the, let's see, Thursday was the 19th, the 20th was Friday, and so this would be day 21. We're at day 21, so at the opening bell, let's see, which would have been about here, we started off with the breakup to the upside. I tried to be patient here. We did hit a new pivot high and of course all our moving averages are in order we had a smooth consistent pullback all the way to the 21 simple moving average and importantly we did remain above the 9 EMA so I was able to enter on the break of this candle here that was the entry and I just went with the target. We did get our 20 ticks, which is five points on the ES for $250. However, the trade did continue, but because I wasn't really actively managing it, I wasn't looking at it, I was taken out at the original target. But this one could have gotten more money. So here we are on day 21 with see the final balance for today is eight eight hundred and sixty four dollars or eight hundred and sixty five twenty five thousand eight hundred and sixty five so I'm up eight hundred sixty five dollars towards the fifteen hundred dollar goal pretty much Friday I didn't do a video but Friday was pretty much a wash it my account actually was a little bit lower I think I was up 600 and something on Thursday when I posted the video. Friday, I actually went down a little bit, not much, but just, just a little bit. I was still in the 600s, and then today, I am at 865, rounded off. So, I'm back in the 800, close to 900 range. So, this is that time when, in the past, I have completely sabotaged myself. So, I'm hoping that this time when we hit that 900 or right now we're at 865, I'm hoping that I can just maintain being patient, waiting for good setups, and not going into self-sabotage mode. So, continuing on, I'll just show some other trades that were going on. We have another attempt here. We had a pull, a pull back all the way to the gold line here, the five minute, the five minute gold line, which is the five minute EMA. And this was a really nice bullish bar. So I did take this trade on a different account. Unfortunately, I didn't have the confidence to really stay in the trade and ride it all the way up because look at this. This was amazing. Wonderful bounce off of the five minute 
the five minute nine EMA, went all the way up, close to 50 ticks, and then what do we have here? This is the overnight open, and then boom, here we go down again. So these trades really do work. Unfortunately, today I did not have the confidence to stay in it. I did try to get into this trade. I think I may have taken it either underneath here or underneath here on a different account. However, I was shaken out in this little consolidation here. I didn't let the trade run the way I should have, but it's still nice to look back at it to see that it worked, even if you got in here, which that would have been my entry. You know, I just don't really understand the entries right at the, right at the overnight open. I'm better at just taking it at the break of the candle, which this was a really nice bar. And this would have definitely gotten 20 ticks. It just, it would have really just went on and on and on. So uh, this was just a really great trade. You could have taken it to the nine EMA, the five minute gold line, or even five minute red line, and it just went on and on and on. Then again here, this is another good one right at the break of the five minute red line. We went back into the gold line, but we are right on the line of the five minute red line but again a nice short so those are some of the trades that I tried to take but I just really didn't have the confidence to stay in them and see them through but just looking at them seeing them I'm hoping that in the future they are trades that I will be able to have the confidence to stay in so I think I do have a trade of the day on a live replay on a live replay. So I hope for those of you who would like to see an attempt at a continuation trade, I hope you all stay tuned for that. But again, thank you all for liking, subscribing. Thank you for following the journey and good luck. I hope that you all had a successful trading day.